Soroya, Painter of Light Joaquin Soroya was born in Valencia in 1863. He was left orphaned at the age of two following the death of his parents during a cholera epidemic and was raised by his maternal aunt Isabel Bastida. His secondary school teachers spotted his interest in painting and encouraged Joaquin to pursue studies in fine arts. He attended evening drawing classes at the School of Artisans of Valencia and would later go on to enroll in the San Carlos School of Fine Arts. He studied 17th century Spanish painting, mainly Velázquez, in Madrid's Prada Museum. Throughout his entire career, he entered into painting competitions and won major awards with works such as El Dos de Mayo, the 2nd of May, in which, through realism, he sought to create the effect of light and the burned gunpowder enveloping the characters in the painting. He used the corrals of the bullring in Valencia as his workshop. He also won an award for El Grito del Pagliatere, the shout of the Pagliatere that led to a scholarship to study in Rome. Both paintings are history-themed. Some of his other award-winning social-themed works of art are Otra Margarita, Another Margarita, or Triste Herencia, Sad Inheritance. The painters Gonzalo Salva and Ignacio Pinazo introduced him to plain air painting, which he would go on to do throughout his career, not to mention his knowledge of Impressionist painting by foreign artists that he acquired on his many trips to Paris. In Rome, he studied the Italian Renaissance and became acquainted with the painting of Mariano Fortuny, who had a big influence on him, as can be seen in his painting Moro con Naranjas, Orange Cellar. He would go on to meet other Spanish painters, such as Benjure, Villegas, and Salas. In September 1888, he married Clotilde Garcia, daughter of the photographer Antonio Garcia, and lived for some time in the city of Assisi, Italy, in the house belonging to the painter José Benjure, where the latter's costumbrismo style of painting sparked his interest, inspiring him to paint Vendiendo Melones, selling melons. 1889, after moving to Madrid, saw the dawn of the great splendor of Soroya's painting through the development of his luminism style, going on to be considered the master of light because of his incredible ability to capture light and shade, as well as the movement of the people in his paintings. His social realism period, inspired by the mind and literary work of his friend Vicente Blasco Ibanez, with paintings such as Yandifenque el pescado es caro, they still say that fish is expensive, La Vuelta de la Pesca, Return from Fishing, Trata de Blancas, White Slave Trade, and Una Investigación, An Investigation. And also in his Sailor Costumbrismo period, inspired by the teachings of Pinazo, he created works such as Cosiendo las Velas, Mending the Sail, Tres Velas, Three Sails, El Pescador, Valentian Fisherman, Niños en la Playa, Children on the Beach, El Baño del Caballo, Washing the Horse, El Bote Blanco, The White Boat, Have ya? and Paseo o Aurias de Mar, Strolling along the Seashore. Another one of his most successful facets were portraits such as those of Benito Pérez Galdós, Ramón y Cajal, Blasco Ibáñez, Machado, King Alfonso XIII in the Garden of La Granja and Queen Victoria Eugenia, not to mention the many portraits he painted of his wife, Clotilde. The Hispanic Society of America in New York commissioned 14 large murals dedicated to the regions of Spain to be housed in the library of its headquarters. This institution also houses the painting El Sol de la Tarde, Afternoon Sun, which the painter himself considers to be his best work. He died in Ferradilla, Madrid in August 1923, and his house in Madrid has been home to the Soroya Museum since 1932.